Just talk about the change and how, how you guys, uh, I guess, address the change. Obviously, you're going to be running things, but what, what else happens here today, well, coaching-wise? Yeah, no, it's we're, uh, we might try uh, Patrick in the middle today um, <laughs> as an option. No, seriously. Yeah. And um, I think that's something we've been talking about uh, recently, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but no, we spoke to Lars, and um, nothing much will change. We're just going to do our thing. You guys are all pretty much a cohesive unit anyway, so you could all probably do one another's job on any given practice day or game day, right? Well, we, we, we've been working together for two years now, so we, uh, we have a routine and we're just going to follow the same game plan. Very easy. Talk about this building and what it means to especially some of the young guys try, trying to just adjust to this atmosphere as well as a really good hockey team on the other side. Well, yeah, it is a good hockey team and uh, it's going to be a good challenge. They're, um, they're, they defend well, they attack the slot really well. Um, their D are off, um, up the rush quite a bit. It's going to be an interesting game because it's been, it feels like it's been a long road trip so far. Um, and coming off the last game, we want to bounce back, obviously. So it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting game for us. And it's a, it's a great building. I've experienced uh, this building in the playoffs with the Jets. And uh, it's loud. It's, uh, you got to stay on your toes. And you have to stay focused, right? There's so many things that can be distractions if you let them be. Well, yes, but uh, <laughs> our focus got to be on the ice. We have to yeah. be the main event, uh, not what's happening outside uh, uh, of the ice. But it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's going to be a good experience for us. Like, like I said, we're going to face a team that is going to be in the playoff, and they hope to go a, a long way in the playoffs. They have a good lineup. They have four lines. Their group of defensemen is really good. Um, they can move the puck, they defend well, uh, so we'll have to be prepared. Will you really try Patrick in the middle? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we've been talking about this for a while and we'll see. It's, uh, we've been talking to him um, about the role and he's excited about it and, and we'll see how it goes. It might last just a few shifts, we'll see how he responds, but um, I think he has some attributes that can uh, make him a good center, so we'll try it. Yeah. Say, you know him as well as anybody. I mean, I have I've worked with him over the years. What do you what think he could bring to a spot like that if you just give, give him a chance to, to go out there and try it? Well, I think his uh, skill set, uh, he's, he's got a big body, uh, first of all. Uh, he can protect the puck. Uh, when you look at him tracking, coming back into the D zone, that's never been an issue. Um, so he's good at that. He's pretty reliable when he does that. And um, we showed him some clips about what it takes to be a center. Um, defending in low in the zone and protecting the puck, making the next play. Uh, so there's some reads there. Obviously, he hasn't worked on his face-off skills a whole lot, but when he takes some, he's about uh, recently he's, uh, his percentage is, is not bad. I'm not sure he's going to see a whole lot of these on face-offs, um, but I think I think he's got some skills. And if he moves his feet like he can, uh, coming up ice, uh, making plays. Patty is not just a shooter. He's also passing the puck really well. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's something that we uh, we should look at. He's a six foot five. If we can develop him as a good center, then that's <clears throat> something uh, that'd be really interesting for us. Yeah, and he's a guy kind of quietly has been producing over a point a game for about 30 games now, ever since he's been healthy. Uh, do you like where his game has been trending and, and the things he's been able to pull out of himself for this, this last little bit? Well, yes, uh, I think when Patty moves his feet, uh, he's an elite player. <coughs> Sorry. I, can relate. I guess I got the <laughs> flu as well. Um, so he's an elite player when he moves his feet. And, um, and that's going to force him to move his feet playing center. Um, so we'll see. But um, you know what? He's, he's producing. And that's what he does for a living. He's producing. He can shoot the puck. Uh, our power play has been producing as well. So that's helping him. Uh, and he's a big piece of it. Who will be on his wings? Uh, Marchenko and uh, Johnny. Oh, that'll be a fun line to watch. Um, and goaltender today. It's going to be Tarasov. I want to ask you just about being in this building and, and maybe the extra focus and attention that it requires just to be in this building and focus on what you need to get done. Uh, yeah, I've never played here before, so I don't know much about it, but I've heard it's a pretty cool environment. So coming in here on a 1 o'clock game, it's a... Uh, we're getting close to the end of the road trip, so coming out with a win here would be big for us. Is it a level of excitement that is not normal for most ranks, or is it? what's your anticipation of playing in this building? Because I'm sure you've heard about it. I, I heard a lot about it. Um, just going in like another game, but obviously there's going to be 
a little more extra crowd noise from what I'm hearing. So I don't really quite know what to expect yet. So it'll be a fun game, I'm pretty sure. So again, excited about that or just not sure? <laughs> I'm, I'm excited, always excited yeah. to play. And, and uh, whenever they got a Showtime team like Vegas, uh, it'll be a fun time. You got to match that? I mean, do you try to stay with that energy and use it to your advantage a little bit? Uh, yeah, I always like feeding off the crowd noise. So if it's going to be loud out there, uh, I think a lot of guys like to feel off that and um, try to play our best like that. Paz, you just told us you're going to get a little uh, opportunity at center today. What uh, What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, we've we've talked about it a little bit and, uh, you know, tried to, uh, to just study that position um, quite a bit. And, um, you know, I feel like I have everything it takes, you know, it's a, another learning process, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's not it's not rocket science. It's just different, different reads as a, as a center than, you know, versus playing a winger and just a lot more responsibilities. But I feel like, you know, I, I want that. I want to, you know, be, be better, um, you know, defensively, offensively. And now it's, I feel like it's a good chance to, uh, you know, take a, take a step forward, uh, you know, defensively. Patty, what are you looking forward to about the opportunity? I mean, just uh, you know, learn new things about me as a as a player, and um, obviously try to you know make make the most out of it, and um, you know to stay there as long as possible. And um, you know, I, I mean, it should be fun. Um, you know, you have a lot more a lot more room in, in the middle. Go uh, you know different directions versus versus in the wing, and um, but you know, just try to be try to be responsible and. Um, you know, handle handle everything like like a normal center would. I don't know if they came to you and asked you to try this, or if you went to them and asked them to try it. But was it something you were pretty on board with when, once it kind of got brought up? Yeah, it was kind of kind of both. Uh, kind of had similar ideas, you know, both sides. And um, you know, now it was a good time to uh, to try it since you know we are where we're at, and uh, you know, obviously trying to try to win games and you know these. Games matter, and you know they're they're tough. You know against tough tough opponents, so like it doesn't doesn't get much uh, much bigger challenge than it is today. You know playing against Vegas and you know playing against center, but you know I'm uh, always always open to uh, you know new challenges and new experiences, and um, so it should be should be a fun one. Yeah. Do you like where your game is at right now too? I mean I think you over over 30 games now. You're a point per game player. Even above that, uh, do, you, do you just kind of think you're, you're starting to put the game together that you wanted to have the season? Obviously, kind of a tough season, but do you feel like you've kind of gotten on track these last couple weeks? Yeah, I mean, I don't think the the point total they they don't you know always uh, match the whole picture. Um, you know, I don't feel feel like I've been playing at my best. You know, it's just been you know bouncing in and getting getting points. And but it's you know it's not only about that. Um, I feel like I got a lot more. A lot more to give, and um, obviously try to do that for the last, you know, however, how many ever 15 games we have left. Just try to, you know, leave leave this season with a good good taste in my mouth, and you know, just uh, you know, make make the most out of this time.